नमस्कार एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल वेलकम टू आवर ऑनलाइन सीरीज रिफ्लेक्शंस मार्किंग 101 इयर्स ऑफ भारत रत्न पंडित रविशंकर जी टुडे वी आर ऑन आवर 87th एपिसोड एंड टुडे वी आर ग्लैड टू इनवाइट वन ऑफ द सीनियर डिसाइपल ऑफ पंडित जी पंडित टी राधा कृष्णा टू आवर शो रिफ्लेक्शंस दादा नमस्कार नमस्कार हाउ आर यू थैंक यू नाइस टू सी यू दादा थैंक यू वेलकम टू आवर 287th एपिसोड एंड वी आर ग्लैड टू हियर फ्रॉम यू योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड मेमोरीज ऑफ पंडित जी टू जॉइन टू द कन्वर्सेशन विद यू आई इनवाइट श्री गौरव मजुमदार नमस्कार आदित्य Absolutely, it's been absolutely. Oh, great! Seeing you, I'm looking great. It's a wonderful journey. 87th episode today, and it just seems like yesterday we started this, and mm. uh, there has been so much input from so many various people, and uh, it's uh, it, it's going to take a long time for people to see all the episodes and and really you know understand what and that- uh, Guruji was. uh so navarun was saying something he will come back no issues uh radha it's a pleasure real real pleasure to to have you on this show yes, i have always no i can i am speechless and i unless you make me talk i don't know what to talk also what uh, what can you say it's always been been one thing what 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 has struck me uh is your devotion and love for guruji Wow. i have always seen that there, there is a it it almost borders from being human to being very spiritual and there are few episodes which are very i mean it are they are etched in my mind and as we go along i'm going to remind you for you to speak about those incidents because they are so very special and that's what made guruji so special it's not just the music it's so many other things which made him stand apart absolutely other musicians from other human beings from other people of his time he had not just one but many qualities and that's what made him pandit ravi shankar that's what made him the ravi shankar that's what made him bharat ratna that's what made him a global icon and a citizen so let's start this episode today with going back to your family and your background your connection to music and to sitar tell us about it radha we we are all very eager to know that well i am uh, i am half calcutta i was born in calcutta uh i lived there for 10 years and okhanteke 1964 my dad and parents shifted here so i'm i'm in bangalore from 1964 so middle school theke sob college college sob ekhane chakri sob to uh right from my childhood i was singing film songs from there i picked up what is called as a bulbul tarang to bulbul tarang bahut saal baje to wo bulbul tarang even i imported to bangalore from calcutta to uh, slowly i moved on to play harmonium स्कूल में पियानो बजाते थे आई वॉज ओनली किड अलाउड टू प्ले द पियानो इन द स्कूल असेंबलीपल मेड इज ऑर्डर दैट नो बड़ी एल्स विल टच द पियानो तो पियानो थोड़ा बजा देन डैड वॉज वॉचिंग ऑल दिस एंड वन फाइन मॉर्निंग वॉट इज डूइंग विथ योर म्यूजिक यूर जस्ट यू नो all the while playing film songs doing this doing that come september sound of music wagera wagera 
why don't you do some classical music? So I said, what is classical music? He says, thoda veena bajao, kuch karo. I said, veena, I said, veena, I won't play. It's, it's too, I don't know what is veena. So he said, then play sitar, which looks like veena. I said, yeah, that sounds jazzy, sitar, guitar. I said, but how does it look like? So he took the trouble of taking me to a movie and showing me how a sitar looks like. So I fell, I fell for that. Then in those days, V. Balsara was doing songs on sitar with his orchestra and all that. He was doing sound of music, ye wo. So, you know, I like the sound of sitar so much. Next came, yes, I want to learn. So where is the teacher? That took another one year. Then when I finally found him, I realized that he's passing my house every day in the morning. A red lambretta with a sitar on his shoulder and he's going on the scooter. This is my dear guru, late Ramarauji. I owe him a lot. I owe him a lot. He showed me and taught me from how to hold a sitar for the next 10 years. Whatever Guruji's gems, he has taken so much trouble to transcribe everything and record. He was one of those few students who was allowed to record Guruji's teachings. So he has them so authentic and so beautifully he has taught me these things. They're all such gems today, I mean, I, I keep them so carefully and I was so fortunate that I found him who taught me authentic good sita, which he took the trouble of learning and spending so many years in Delhi and coming back to Bangalore. So that's how I started and the next 10, 12 years I was with him, very, very devoted. He loved me so much, he was like my father. And uh, then I, would, I also had to work, obviously. I couldn't, I didn't take it up full time ever. So I was in this Oberoi group company called Mercury Travels. So there I grew for the next 17 years. Uh, with Sitar happening parallelly. Then they transferred me to Delhi. So that is where I met uh, Uma Shankarji and about six months, he gave me some fabulous inputs, fabulous depth into ala handling, kharaj bajana kaisa, how to take out the toad. He's another, such a great artist, I tell you, we lost. And uh, that was invaluable training again. Now, <clears throat> All this is way back in the 80s. I started learning from Ram Rao in 68. So till 78, 80, I was with him. Then 81, I moved to Delhi. So in between, going back to 1972, Ramaraji was teaching in Bharti Vidya Bhavan in Bangalore. The sitar classes were being launched there at that time. November 22nd, to be precise, 1972. Guruji was going to Puttaparthi to play for Satisai Baba's 50th birthday. So he stopped over and came to Bhavans to launch the classes. And how did he launch? Again, thanks to Ram Rao Ji. He told me that you will receive a sitar from Guruji's hands. And that would be the symbolic launch. I said, this is something astounding. And that happened. Of course, there was one more student of Ramaraji. We both received together. I was always thinking I'm going to uh, take it alone, but I didn't want to be greedy. He said, no, he'll also receive it with you. 
सो वो हो गया सो दैट गेव मी अज बूस्टर फॉर मी टू टेक इट अप वेरी वेरी सीरियसली सेवेंटी सिक्स आई वन दर इंडिया रेडियो म्यूजिक कॉम्पिटिशन पार्थो केम फर्स्ट आई केम सेकेंड so that was another huge that was the emergency time so there was no award function or nothing just station mein humko certificate de diya bhaga diya bas so to uh, that was a, another huge booster for me and i never looked back after that then somewhere around 80s during guruji's visits to bangalore concerts wagera of course i would meet him with ramarao ji go to the airport receive blah 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 whatever then my father in law spoke to him and said to ye chele ke ek to sunbe to then i made mohan emadi also speak to him mohan was here so she he she he spoke to kamla ji who was there and then that little in his room it was arranged that i play for guruji so bahut dar dar ke dar dar ke kuch bajaya bhimpalas bajaya where where was this ashoka hotel and which which year was this 19 1980 december 1980 december the guruji had just turned 60 Yes. So uh, I played. Uh, he didn't say anything. You know, he generally doesn't say it so easily. But he also said, "You, my records, are very much listened to." I said, "So that's it. That is our inspiration." I had literally bi-hearted his Bhim Palace, San Francisco, Monterey, LP. Line by line, and I played it with him. He says, "Never do this again. Once more." This that is not. Your, that was your first lesson. Absolutely, he said, "Never do this again. Do, don't imitate. Don't by heart. You imbibe. Yes, you, you you are learning from my senior student. You are an excellent hands. All that." so but mind must be your own so that was another huge piece of advice immediately i stopped uh, following his lps you know i used to do crazy things those days you had this full stereo uh, amplifier systems so i would cut off guruji's channel keep only alarakha ji's theka on and i used to play with that that was my initial one day ramrao ji came off when i was doing that he said what are you doing i said i am trying to play with tabla first time <laughs> he said you are incredible how do you do all this <laughs> so that's how i started playing with tabla of course ramrao ji used to also play theka while teaching so these are my beginnings and uh, even any kind of hints at him if he'll accept me as a disciple fell on deaf ears you know he was so clear cut on this ramrao ji is active you are learning from him and that's it so many years passed by and uh, in between that 80 to 90 i became very very close to him always with him whenever he comes to bangalore shopping malls khao ye pio jo bhi karo he insisted that i am there cinema also by the way i forgot to say namaste to cinema if she is watching yeah she 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 definitely namaste cinema if you are watching sorry that was in san diego 
So, okay. And she she definitely she 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 is watching. Yeah. So uh, that is where that is the beginnings of mine. And uh, in between around eighty seven, he gave me some talim in Ramanujji's house, which I consider for myself a disaster. He gave me the Yaman Sargam. Nirigari, nirigari, sa nirapa magari sa. I just couldn't manage it. I was shivering in front of him. Suddenly, out of the blue, he said, "Bosha, ita baja." Out of the blue. Before did that, he was. Did you know that? Did you know that sargam before? No, 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 no. My God, I wish I knew. I never knew it. He suddenly said, "Ita baja." Ah, Chinnamma, Chinnamma is saying, "I am here." Namaskar, Chinnamma. Pranams to Chinnamma. Yeah. You are in uh, Encinitas. Finally. Wow. Kya baat hai? Thank you. So, uh, he made me play this. And I goofed up very badly and said, no. It's, it's, a, it's a tough, tough one. I mean, till date, I find it difficult. It takes few. You no, know, I would play Nirigari Nirika. Up to there, I would play. I used to pay Pama Garisa instead of doing Pama Garisa. So, three, four, five times he tried. Then he told Rajiv to Shikira. Rajiv Paranaji was there also. He was learning Sudkalyan with me that time. Yeah, you have to. I want to hear about that as well. Yeah, but later, later, not now. Yeah, let's let's don't let we. I don't want to lose the thread. So that was your first like, like. Yeah, yeah. that was face to face with two feet gap, Yaman failure. Then next day I was meeting him again. I said, Guruji, Sara Rath, ham isko sam sam samajh ke bajaya. Now I've understood the implication. It has to start after the seventh matra. Then only it will fall in some. He said, Chika, Mazakar. Bas, chhodde. <laughs> he never said play again, nothing. See, Radha, just, just a small thing, if I may add here. Uh, do you remember the antara of that? Yes. Pama, Pama, Ga, Pama, Ga, Re, Ni, Re, Ga, Re, Ga, Pa, Ka, Ma, Ka, Ni, Dha, Dha, Ni, Re, Ga, Re, Sa. Now, what is the second line do you play? Ni, Re, Ga, Dha, Pama, Ga, Re, Sa, Ni, Dha, Pa. Pama gare sani dhapa maga, gare sani dhapa maga resa, right? That's how it is, yes. That's how I learned. Yes. Now, just a small story for listeners. It's very interesting. Huh. When Guruji was composing this, yes. way back, Shubhoda was there. And when Shubhoda, I met Shubhoda for the first time, Shubhoda said the original was, and because huh. that became too difficult for people, Guruji changed it to, Nire Gadha Pama Gare Sani Dhapa. So you basically stop on Pa. Then Pama Gare Sani Dhapa Maga, same note. Then Ga Gare Sani Dhapa Maga Resa. Oof. So the alignment of that, Guruji had done Nire Nidha Pama Gare Sani Dhapa. Imagine going to Tarsapta. Nire Nidha Pama Gare Sani Dhapa. Pama Gare Sani Dhapa Maga. Gare Sani Dhapa Maga Resa. Oh my God. That's a killer. It took it's a killer. It took a long time for me to do that. But but these days when I play, I I, I try and play that one. Pama pama ga pama gare ni re ga re ga ma ga ma da ni da da ni re ga re sa ni re ni da pama ga re sa ni da pa pama ga re sa ni da pama ga ga re sa ni da pama ga re ni re ga re ni re ga re sa ni da pama ga re sa ni re ga pa. And Shubhoda played it so beautifully. I still remember that beautiful, sweet hand of Shubhoda in the small room in Lodi Estate. He, yes. he played that. Wow. Wow. You know? so, yeah, I met, I met Shubhoda briefly only once. He came to my house in Bangalore. Sadashiv Nagar. Yeah, no, no. It's a Basumuri, South Bangalore. Eh? Uh, he came specifically to play uh, Guruji's. Recording Parmeshwari, ah. which he played, uh, where was it? Hyderabad, I think. I think so. That's an incredible 
Parmeshwari. Incredible. Ramaroji has that recording. It's an incredible Parmeshwari. From then we'll come to now, that. Radha, we'll come to that. I know you have such such a collection. So yes. that first Talim, and then next day you come back and, and you, you have practiced almost whole night trying yes. to process, process this know, monster. I was very, very last me to play again. So I came fully charged. And Guruji, said, will, not, Guruji will not leave you. Guruji will he will say, okay, bajao. <laughs> yeah. So that was amazing. So how was the second day? Second day, uh, what did he do? He was teaching Rajiv uh, huh. continuation of Suddhakalyan. Then I also joined in a bit. He was saying that Suddhakalyan, you cannot do fancy things, Tankari and all that. It is to be played very limited. And that's it. Jor mein itna bajana hai. And you know, he insists Jor has to be played only da 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 da. Always, always. That's the Binkar always. style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, also, also Alap. Alap to hai. Alap, of course, but Jor, after a certain speed to stay, maintain only da da da. Guruji did that beautifully. Oof. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So, Chivale. So from there, moving on to your 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 first two lessons with Guruji, the first day Yaman, and then second day, of course, you know, coming back, and then yeah. Rajiv Taranath then, and Shuddh Kalyan. I have had brief trainings in Delhi whenever I used to visit, and during my stint there. Uh, other than that, I can't remember. I think Mysore, I did something once. But then, of course, the big thing happened in uh, 2003, uh -huh. teaching me in uh, Western. Uh, he asked for my sitar because he didn't have one. Anushka was shooting a film here. Dance like a man. Dance like a man. Shooting was going on. So Guruji and I had a whale of a time. Chinnama used to go off to her sister. You know, she's a leading dog breeder. So Guruji was left alone with me. Can you imagine? Loafing around, either, other, more job. Time of your life. Oof. Kya bolwa. I can't forget that. And not one day. So many days. And then, of course, this... Um, no, bad me bolega. Somehow, I, one of those days, I said, Guruji, I know you have a very sensitive stomach. But I want you to try. I told Chinnam also. First, I had to check with her whether I can make this offer also. The Andhra biryani, you know how it is. So I'm she knew all for it. You know, she loves Chetinad and yeah, for a million. So, Guruji, I was a little hesitant. He said, no, no, we'll have. So, I took them to this place called Amravati, which is closed now. They just freaked out. They, they just couldn't resist how much they were praising it. So, after that, every visit, he will insist he has that billion. I tell you from concert stage, after finishing the concert, he would say, Radha, chalo, 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 pack, pack, pack. You know, all the autograph hunters coming, big rush. In between that, he'll call out loudly my name. Say, chalo, 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 chalo. Can you imagine? This is how, how much he liked that. Chinnama also. Chinese too, you know very well. He 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 had loved Chinese food. So I was coming to my second round in West End. So I lent him my sitar, and every day I used to spend time with him. Then he was asking me, uh, 
know, you travel so much. How do you manage to practice? What do you do? Why don't you give up all this, take up music full time? So I said, Guruji, I have married, I have children. And uh, to take it up professionally at this stage of my life could be a tough, tough call. But uh, I want to assure you that I'm very convinced that without taking it up professionally, trying to do a job, doing other things, I do believe my playing wouldn't be any better if I gave up all this. I told him very frankly, my playing won't be any better. I'm still putting in the required riyas. My focus is always on music. As soon as I back home, the only thing I do is music. Either I'm listening, playing, listening to radio, listening, whatever. So I said, I was, I told him, I'm very convinced that I will not play any better than what I am, except my own self improvement, which will go. That's an, an unending situation. But uh, giving up uh, my job won't change matters much. So he was, he was okay with that. You know, he's so, he's such a smart, such a visionary. The questions you answer, his questions which you answer, will answer him something else. You know, he was trying to assess me, how serious I am, what I want, what will I do? Then out of the blue, he said, hey, to Shitar now, take it. In the room, rest in me. Tune Koro. So I tune. All that time he was assessing me whether at what level I am. I said, Guruji, ki tune Koro. I said, Alay Bilawal. Have you learned Alay Bilawal? I said, Thora sa sikha. I said, Alay Bilawal. So I tuned everything and uh, said, Chalo, baja. I <laughs> pulled one hard stroke from dha to knee. <laughs> he said, Ki ko What are you doing? No, this is not the way. Don't play dhani, play nidani and softly stroke the and treat it like like a jula like that don't don't just pull aggressively like that so th that itself changed my whole playing you know that one tip he gave me how you play go up and then come down rather than uh, go from low to high. Samjana, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so that was a huge thing. And then, then came the bolt from the blue. He said, okay, I'm having this master class in Delhi. You come. Then he said, uh, all, all the seniors will be there. And uh, you come. Six, seven days will be good grounding. We'll meet all senior people. Vishu Bhai will be there. Kolkata. Deepak Da. Deepak Da. Gaurav. Then. Partho. Manju Mehta. Partho. Shah Thakbe. Then the singer who passed away. Yeah. Sandesh. He, so I, I was very, very nervous because it was a huge culture shock for me because I'm not used to that kind of an atmosphere and learning from somebody like that at that level was first time for me, really. You know, so many others sitting who are so much ahead of me in terms of seniority and playing. So I was really... Very, very nervous. Anyway, I managed all that. You know, I stayed with you. You're so kind enough. That made my whole 
visit to Delhi so smooth. Thanks to you for that. Oh, thank you. It was it was Nandita's. Uh, yes, know, six, seven days I was staying with you. My yeah, God, I'm, I'm no easier guest also. I'm not the easiest person. No, you you were wonderful. We had a wonderful time, and Nandita looked after both of us. So she <laughs> she had a yeah. hands full. Huh. Yeah. So but that, that, was, that session was outstanding. Outstanding. I mean, what I mean, scholarly comparisons between close by ragas. Imagine you know, a man in his 80s starting God Sarad, in the morning. Sarad, unforgettable Gaur Sarad. How he was singing that day. Unforgettable. And for, for so many hours, morning session, afternoon session, evening session, late evening session. Oh, it was it was it was just amazing, and uh, he was already uh, eighty. Yeah, of course, he was eighty plus. Oof! And he would sit there with just one. He would not even change his posture. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I I want to talk about some fun sure. part of me. How he sure. punned, he punned, and quite a bit he punned with me. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, he wanted to go to Belur Halebi in one of his visits. You know, I don't know whether you know this. There was a time when Chinnamaya and Guruji were seriously thinking of moving base to Bangalore. Ah, I, I don't know about it. Before the Delhi scene happened, before that thing was constructed, they wanted Anushka to study here, you know, Malia school, da da da, all that. Suddenly, I think they changed their views on Bangalore. What happened, I don't know. They, that didn't happen. And the whole thing happened in Delhi. Uh, During that time, he said, I want to go to Belur Halibi. I've heard so much about it, I've never seen it. I said, Guruji, you know, sitting in the car, four hours, six hours driving, you might get very strained. He said, I said, I said, Guruji, pothole. <laughs> so, yeah, for the listeners who are listening, who, who yes. are speaking, uh, I just want to clarify that, uh, that pun there. A pothole, of course, everybody knows what a pothole is. But a uh -huh. pothole is a pointed gourd. It's a vegetable, very uh, yeah. cooked, very, very, uh, it's a very common Bengali dish. Parval, Veg parval, I think. Parval, parval. Huh? in Hindi it's called Parval, but in Bangla it's called Potol. Yes. Then, of course, uh, you know, whatever he did with me, it was always out of the blue. During this time, I've never been in my to say, come to my house, come to somebody. No, I could never do it. They charged So desperately I would call my mother-in-law and say, look, so and so wants to come. Good luck to you. He came, had tea, enjoyed himself, went off to those days of uh, Uday Shankarji with my father-in-law. My father-in-law, Professor Jagannath Ganguly, he was heading Indian Institute of Science, Biochemistry, he was a chairman. Very well, well-known, widely known scientist all over the world. So some of the same age group, so they hit off so well, I tell you. So he used to enjoy coming there because of fantastic Bengali food. So khub bhalak. Fantastic. Then one of those visits, he said, 
let's have dinner in your house. Chinama was there. So we had to do for her different, for him different. Hooray. All that happened. Next day, next day or the day after, we are seeing in the papers, they got married in Hyderabad. No sound till then. Huh? I mean, fantastic the way they completely kept it down and the marriage took place in Hyderabad. You know? Yeah. So that was how it was. The other, other thing about, uh, yeah, oof, this is very funny. Ramarajit uh, Barite Radio Shunchila. Sutar was coming on the radio. Suddenly he asked, Itami, when did I record this? I already started shuddering because I knew it was not him, but he insisted. Pakhon record kore chhiya. Itami to jantam na. I said, Guruji. Then I had to. I mean, how can I not? I said, Guruji, that is Nikhil Babu play. Oh. Nikhil Babu, so you recognize? I said, ha, bhalo I said, wow, I was only testing you, don't worry. <laughs> Tell you, you got to be so <laughs> careful, my God. Amazing, huh? We used to go to the marketplaces, vegetable market. Amazing, huh? those vegetable vendors would recognize him. I can't believe this. They would get off from their, uh, wherever they're sitting. They sit in elevation, huh? vegetable vendors. They would all jump off and do namaste to him. No, he said, Era, how, he asked you, how do they know me? I said, why not, Guruji? Yeah. Why should they not know you? <laughs> they don't have to come to your concert to know you. I said, this is, I've never seen this. Vegetable vendors and all that. So, of course, you are as big as any film star, so why not? Then we got into the car. One boy came to him, but the, his window was down. Excuse me, you are Ravi Shankar, no? He says, No. I am what? I am Ravi Kapoor. He says, No, 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 no. You are Ravi Shankar. He said, no, I am Ravi Kapoor. He lifted the glass. Two, three times he did this. Somewhere else he said, no, no, I am George Harrison. We used to roll in laughter after that. You know, once they get rid of them and we go off. It's yeah, incredible. That's the other thing I wanted to say about how he would disguise, you know, when in the marketplaces and somebody comes running to him like that without any invitation. Going back to 1995 in Los Angeles, Guruji, Anushka had just played first time in Delhi, introductory concert, if you remember that concert. City Fortman. Yes. Soon after, they played in uh, Los Angeles to the theater called Alex Theater. So, Hamlok Theva. So, we went to the concert. Kartik Da was there. Zakir Bhai was playing Tabla. Partho was assisting. So, we were sitting on the dais, I mean, on the side of the dais. Chinama was with us. Water. Start kya full blast. I mean, fabulous mood he got into. Dus the current went. The whole 7,000 sold out auditorium. Huh? Kunta? 
तो फॉर सम स्ट्रेंज रीजन ही ब्रॉट टू सितार्स दैट डे एनीवे तो पिच डार्क जस्ट सम तो बैटरी लाइट्स इमरजेंसी लाइट्स he didn't know anything because his eyes were closed and he was absolutely lost in his plane chinama came to me and said prada go and stop him from playing i said nothing do i won't do it he said go and stop him from playing nobody can hear him do it now don't waste time can you imagine me going and stopping guruji from playing it's a world record i went and held his wrist and 7000 people are watching this suddenly got out from that trance i said guruji power nahi hai stop for a while i was sweat i don't know i would have died that night then he said oh power nahi how sweet just see his pr levels there how sweet pin drop silence nobody has protested this is amazing absolutely amazing chinnamay is saying that he continued to play for almost 40 minutes there you are he 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 didn't know that power had failed he was in a different world rather absolutely absolutely then for the next one hour they no no sign of any coming back it was terrible i mean i can't believe this in the us this can happen the whole entire thing this flopped again in one of those bangalore visits cell phones just came chinamma of course with her sister in the in the dog farm we were sitting in obra hotel chatting away two things happened there so he was asking about cell phone you know those days i had my nokia first phone or not first phone maybe so he said actually that how to how to operate what is so i showed him this is it this is it is wrong they then he took the phone from me and he was dialing away something i didn't know what he was doing i didn't ask also next he seeing me he spoke to chinna first call ever in his life on a cell phone he speaks to chinna how oh, nice so sweet it was so sweet the ha this is what technology is magic then coming out from the restaurant there was this guitar player strumming away and singing in the passage he saw guru ji and took out his guitar and he came running it's sir 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 i have a very very special request i said what is it i want him to sign on my guitar i said i'll ask him i am no one to say yes or no and i said guru ji is asking for autograph is it okay he didn't say anything but he quietly signed it later after finishing that going to the car he said eta arak bar korbe na hmm never make me sign on stuff like this these boys go and sell and make money it is so right i didn't realize till then <clears throat> yeah that uh, you can sell these things so oh, yeah yeah that yeah. that thing will be worth you know who, who doesn't want his original uh, signature yeah. guruji's signature will make it yeah uh so that was what happened cell phone and uh, this autograph business you see this is all so much learning for us 
from that time i became very careful never allow anybody to come and even autograph hunters i was stopping Gaurav, you you have something to ask? Yeah, and definitely. I, I I have a special memory which is etched in my mind. Yes. Uh, when your dear wife, uh, Shubha, fell ill, Guruji didn't know about it. But he, nevertheless, he called you. If, you. if you remember, you had told me that story that I don't know how he found out. And he spoke to you and, and that was such a consoling phone call and gave you so much of strength but the but the fact remains that how did he find out you know i think ramarauji told him because he was passing through bangalore remember he was going for the recording in madras for uh, their ballet what is that madras uh, gansham mm -hmm. mm -hmm. gansham the recording cholchi madras so he was passing through Bangalore, and I think Ramraj told him this is what has happened. Hmm. So he called, you know, I was completely floored. I started crying when he called. That man, from where he gets all this feel, after all, I'm, I'm such a small person, he called and found out the whole detail, everything. Fantastic, fantastic, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What a, what a... Well, you saw Shubha. It's all his blessings and God's blessings. She got well and she is with you and, and oh, yeah. she is with all of us. That's totally Guruji's blessings. Absolutely, absolutely. Radha, at this note, it would be nice uh, if we can listen to some uh, sitar. Okay. Wonderful saying of yours. Uh, yeah. We are running out of time. It would be nice to nice to hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Guruji's, as you know, beautiful, beautiful situations, yeah. was uh, basically a Carnatic rag, but he, he redid the whole thing and slightly renamed it as Janison Modi. As you know. in, the, in the south, it's called Janison Modi. And uh, this has got its own characteristic. I hope I do justice to it. <clears throat> I'll just play a short outro and then little joke. Yeah. Thank you. 
Beautiful, beautiful, Radha. Thank you. Thank you very much. Radha, it was a pleasure speaking to you, having you for Reflections, the 87th episode, speaking on Guruji. And I look forward to seeing you soon. You take care of yourself. Stay safe. My regards to your family. Thank you, Chinnama. Thank you for the opportunity. It's a great, great day in my life that I have to speak on my beloved Guruji like this for one hour and quoting so many things. You are so much part of all those fun days we had in Bangalore. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And Shubha, my wife, Kandes, also. Our greetings are pronounced to you. Hello to Anushka. She is still in London. I know she's traveling to New York a little. Goro, lovely meeting you and lovely seeing you. And uh, you are going to Germany tomorrow. Yes. And I'll see you soon. Thank you. Very good. Now, Thank you. Thank you, Dada. Thank you so much. Coming Thank to our show, sharing the technical support and all the coordination I would be. I gave you a lot of trouble with all the our, our pleasure having you on our show. And I was just Dada speaking that it, we covered such a long journey, near about one and one and a half years, coming to this episode, 87th episode. That I was talking about. Yeah. Really, really a long time. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Gorda. Thank you. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Be safe. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Radha. Good night. Bye. Bye, Shubha. Bye. And uh, to the viewers. Take care. And to the viewers of Pandit Ravi Shankar Music Foundation, do join us on next Sunday. And there's a little bit announcement which I want to make that people don't call me after the official hours on the phone requesting for music and resident participation. You just people call between 10 to 5. Yes, though, it is open now. You people can send your videos, two minutes videos and no link, please. Don't send any links. Send a live video of your two minutes. Then we will see and we will decide and then finalize. We will and our technical team will inform you people. So you start sending your videos. From next week, we are going to start our Music Room Next Gen series. Good night. Stay safe.